Hello Learnicorns, it's Matthew here. Today we're going to be learning about slime. If you haven't played with slime, you are missing out. It's really fun, really weird, it's just so odd to have in your hands. So if you haven't played with slime, I'm going to teach you how to make it at home. And if you've already learned this, you're still going to learn something because I'm going to teach you why slime forms when you use these ingredients. Now let's learn about slime. And what you need for this experiment is a bowl. And some <laughs> glue. Uh, PVA glue, actually. And we're using some borax powder. Top tip, you can use some laundry powders. Tide works. You can use Tide. Uh, laundry detergent, like the little liquidy one. Um, and you can use anything that has borax will work in it as well for, for laundry detergent. We want to make some nice colourful ones, so we've got some food colouring as well. Uh, and a golden spoon <laughs> with which we are mixing. <laughs> and then a bottle for mixing the borax with some water. Very first thing is we're going to plop a bunch of glue right in here. The glue that we used is called PVA glue. Now PVA glue contains molecules called polymers. Polymers are long and flexible, and they're why this type of glue moves sort of like a liquid. Because these polymers just kind of slide past each other. Alright, so what we did was we mixed one cup of water with one teaspoon of borax, except we didn't, we didn't have anything to measure a teaspoon, so it's just our best guess. <laughs> one top tip that Valeria learnt is that if you refrigerate it, it ends up being a bit more slimy in the end. The reason adding borax to the mixture makes it move more like slime is because when borax powder is mixed in water, it creates a type of ion called a borate ion. When this is added to the glue, the borate ions make the polymers link to each other. When they're linked like this, it makes it so the mixture is unable to flow so easily. When polymers link together enough, they turn the glue into a rubbery substance. And that is what we call slime. We're going to try something innovative and we're going to try to make this pancake a, uh, a glow-in-the-dark pancake. <laughs> this is a slime we made earlier. So we got this brand of glow-in-the-dark paint. It's called Deco Art Americana glow-in-the-dark paint. Um, any glow-in-the-dark paint will do, the, will do the job. But this is the one that I picked up to use for this video. Gloop. Sci-fi waffle. It's an S. Now it's just a dragon. Okay, I'm gonna use the back of this. So I'll let it do this. I don't know how long we have to let this sit for, but I'll let it sit for a while. All right, so we just went and had a look, and it actually is starting to glow. So we're gonna have to do another another coat across this. Now, glow-in-the-dark paint works thanks to these chemicals called phosphors. Phosphors need to be charged in a sense. They have to be exposed to light for a bit, and as they are, they store that light and then afterwards they slowly emit that light. We see this as glowing, and it's more intense when it's in the dark, because there's not so much light drowning out the glowing. So that glow-in-the-dark paint that I'm putting on the slime is essentially paint with a bunch of phosphors in it. And then we kind of let it soak up the light, and then voila, glow-in-the-dark slime. a slightly green one, a red one, and a blue one. They've all started to mix already because we want to swirl them into one big thing and see what happens. So Valeria, pick up the plate of slime. <laughs> Plop it in the bowl. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this is really heavy. That's pretty. It is pretty. It's a tribute to the Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big old thumbs up and please remember to subscribe and join the Learnicorns family. Let me know what topics you'd like to learn about, leave them in the comments below. Because I don't want to just teach what I want to teach, I want to teach what you want to learn. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!